Hello guys, so this is going to be my first newborn diaper review. Um, I wanted to wait until she started growing out of some diapers so I could kind of give you a range of how um, it fit her at her size. So, with that said, the first one I'm going to be doing is the Little Joey. It's made by Rumperoos and it's designed to fit from 4 to 12 pounds and um, uh, Violet was born at about 8 pounds 8 pounds 6 ounces and um, 21 and a quarter inches long so that kind of gives you something to imagine so the little Joey has been a great diaper for us um, it started fitting right away from birth and we used it um, with the snap down, that's one of the good features about this. It's got the snap down for the umbilical cord. We started wearing this right from birth, so that means there was meconium, things like that, and we never had an issue with staining. I didn't rinse it, I didn't spray it, I just took the diaper off of her and put it in our wet bag and put it in the wash and did my normal routine. I never had any issues. And any stains that might have been left over on the inside, as you can see, there's none in here. And all eight of these look like this. They're perfectly clean on the inside. Um, we just sun them out. Um, and I, even if you live in a place that doesn't get a lot of sun, um, even just, or it's too cold or, or what have you. If you could see sunshine and it's shining through a window or anything, just lay it in your window and it'll it'll have pretty much the same effect. Um, the diaper has the inner gussets here, which are a signature of a Rumperoos diaper. And when I first got this diaper, I thought there's no way a little tiny hiney is going to fit in this diaper. But it's perfect. We um, we only had one leak, and that was my fault. It was user error. It was um, too long in the car seat. So with the diaper, and um, so if you're changing often, which you should be anyways, you should be changing your babies often anyways. Um, you're not going to have any leaks. Um, I never had. I never winced or got nervous when she was, you know, pooping. If I heard her going to the bathroom, because I knew that the diaper would be able to hold it. Um, I I love all the colors of these diapers. They're, in my opinion, they're all gender neutral. Um, the little lavender or purple one would be questionable, but I wouldn't not put it on a boy. Um, what else? This diaper um, was really easy for my husband to use. It was grandmother friendly. It was easy to wash. Um, I had read some reviews prior to actually purchasing this diaper. Um, actually, all eight of them actually were purchased by me. And... I read some reviews and was kind of nervous because the reviews out there are about half and half with leaking. Some people have no issues and some people have leaking issues just constantly saying that every time they put the diaper on it leaks. And um, we hadn't, we really haven't had any issues. So I prepped this diaper by wash, taking it into my own hands to wash it um, about five to six times in hot water. Um, I just sent it through multiple hot water cycles just to kind of prep the the microfiber inside and I know typically you don't have to do that with microfiber. Typically they just say you know one wash with a little bit of detergent and it's it's good to wear but I just thought there's got to be something that I can do to help make sure that these diapers are going to be okay and for our little girl I I imagine it, it could be different for little boys because of where they wet. Because where they're actually peeing in the diaper, um, little boys kind of pee in this area and little girls pee in this up under here area. Um, we still, we've had no issues. Um, so I'll just say that. We have a little girl and we've had no issues. And this diaper fit her until um, just recently. She's about 10 pounds, 10 ounces. And while technically it does still fit her, it's not even on the smallest setting. Um, it just got to where, I mean the biggest setting, it just got to where it was leaving um, just red marks. And it's just from 
being really snug. Um, it wasn't too tight. She never complained. She didn't cry. She wasn't uncomfortable. It was just my preference that um, I just hated seeing how red the lines were. Like you could see the diaper come off. Like when I would take it off, you could see exactly where the diaper laid. So um, with that, I just we just decided that you know we're gonna rotate these out. So. If you have any questions about the little Joey's Rimperoo's diaper, um, I'd be glad to answer them. And um, I'm going to insert a picture with her. Um, this was the first diaper she um, wore when she was born. And I will insert a picture of that and let you guys see how it fit her. There's also pictures on the cloth diaper channel on Facebook. And that's about it. So I will talk to y'all later.